Welcome back to the Master Cam 3D programming session. So in this session, I will teach you that how we can create semi-finishing toolpath for this cavity. So we will use a waterline finishing toolpath for semi-finishing. So click on that waterline, and here we can define the machining geometry. So select the entities. These are all the entities. Select that, and then say end selection. Wall stock. You can leave the stock for finishing. So we will leave 0.1 mm of stock in wall and floor also. Here we will define the boundary. So select on this boundary chain and then select containment boundary. So this is the containment boundary and then say OK. So the next one is tool. Here we will define the tool and what we will use. We will use bull end mill of 6 or 1. And then next you can define the feed speed and retraction value as per your tool and uh, here you can define the cut parameter so simply you can give a 0.15 mm of cut and uh, here we will give we will not use minimum and maximum depth because uh, there is no open area go to the linking parameter and here you can define the enter exit so these are all the uh, basic so uh, it's already okay so we don't we don't need to change everything. If you need a word horizontal arc entry one m, so you can change that. And R filter tolerance you can define here. So I don't need these settings. I do, I only need zero to five of tolerance, two fifty micron, and then say okay. So simply it will create the semi finishing toolpath in this cavity. And after this we will create finishing toolpath in the same cavity. Okay, go to the view tab and say multi-threading. Click on the multi-threading, it will show you that processing speed. So it pins 74%. Okay, so I will click on this. So you can see a uh, this is semi finishing toolpath and this is very compact toolpath there is no retraction and all i will show you the back lot so this is semi finishing toolpath okay looking good and then say top view and here now we will create finishing toolpath so we will use equal scallop toolpath for finishing actual finishing equal scallop here pre at previous you, you can define the machining model so this is the select entities option select the model and then say end selection leave the stock we don't have to leave stock because now we are going to finish it completely so make it zero all the things make it zero and go to the toolpath control and select the boundary so this is the boundary and then say okay here you can define the tool so we will use ball and mill so ball and mill we will use 6 mm of um, ball cutter here we will give the length next and then finish uh, now we will go to the cut parameter tab this is very important tab so here we will say expand inside to out no if you you will click on this so your tool will start uh, from the middle of the middle of this cavity but we don't have to start from here right we have to start from outer and then we have to go in inner of this cavity so we will deactivate that option and here you can give the step over so we will make it 0.15 no 0.2 mm of step over for finishing and here we will say keep tool down within 100% still and then say transition we will say ramping motion while it will take a transition or it will change the pass so we will make it a 3 degree of ramping 
go to the steep and shallow here you can give the 0 to 90 that is default and that is also fine we don't have to change anything there go to the linking parameter and here you can give the clearance value and give the minimum vertical retract that is that should be a 5000 of feed retraction or filter and tolerance so this is 0 to uh, if it is 20 microns so you can change if you need if you need better finish then you can make it uh, 1 micron yeah that's fine and then we will say ok so now it will create the complete finishing uh, compact toolpath so you will get the better finish by using equal scalar toolpath so here I will show you the multi threading so it will show you the processing so now processing is going on uh, it will take some time lesser than one minute or maybe higher let's wait for some time So you can see now it is showing that processing has been done. So this is the complete finishing toolpath. You can see there is no any there is no, uh, no okay it's looking good. So this is completely a compact and smooth toolpath. So absolutely you can use it for actual machining. So after this I will show you uh, that how we can verify it with stock model we will deactivate all the toolpaths and here I will select stock setup and here I will select all solid so this is the Y stock this is the X stock and this is the Z stock and then say ok so now after this we will verify it because uh, now we have defined all the things and here we will say verify selected all the operations in actual block so it will show you the actual cutting in the stock model so you can see uh, this is the stock model so now I will start but before that I will change the color look so if you activate this then you will get all the toolpath in different colors so let's say it play so the, the roughing toolpath is going on we will make it faster that's looking good So I think this is semi, it was, it was rest roughing, right? So here you can say uh, stop condition, use stop condition. Here you can say stop the toolpath, stop the verification when operation will change. Okay, so I will say play. Okay, so now, now it is showing uh, press play because we have used stop condition. And then say play. So it is a semi finish. Now we will make it faster. So you can see a uh, semi finish is going on so after this it will run this finishing toolpath let's wait for some time actually i have given i think 0 0.1 or something of depth of it that's why it is taking so much time no problem we will wait for the finishing toolpath So 
so as you can see uh, we have done the semi finishing toolpath and now we are going to start real actual last finishing toolpath that is equal scale up strategy so let's play it okay so 6 7 ball cutter is moving now we will make it faster Okay, okay, okay. So it's looking very smooth. Okay, fantastic. So as you can see, uh, we have done the finishing toolpath. So it's looking very smooth and here it is showing that uh, there is some material there is some material but we can't use very small tool in this cavity so so it's looking good so uh, one more option i will show you that is roster toolpath so in this cavity there is there is nothing like that that I can show you the raster finishing toolpath. So I will create a, a profile in which I can I will I will show you that how we can raster toolpath. So I will go to the wireframe tab and I will create a spline, simple spline like this, this and this. It's like a wave. And I will go to the surface tab and I will say trap select the curves and then say ok so I will drop it uh, maximum 100 no it's so much higher I will make it 50 both sides so uh, it's like a wave right so now I will show you that how we can use raster toolpath in this kind of 3d profile so go to the toolpath tab and here I will say wireframe and I will create first of all I will create 3d boundary for this profile okay so as you can see I don't need this one and uh, all other one is looking good so I will select all wireframe from here and I will change the wireframe width so we can easily understand that which one is the outer boundary okay go to the toolpath tab and select here you can select raster and here you can define the surfaces okay i will leave the stock zero floor stock zero go to the toolpath control and select this curve and then okay go to the tool i will select six spherical tool and here I will go to the cut parameter I will give the step over and I will make it 0.2 mm of step over and now we here you can change the machining angle if you need 0 degree then it will machine like this if you need a 45 degree then you will get the toolpath like this and if you need 90 degree then you will get like this 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 so we will make it 0 and then we will see and here you have to give 100% of keep tool down and here uh, you can say transition we don't have to change these all things uh, simply you have to change the minimum vertical retract so it will save your retraction time and go to the arc filter and tolerance that's 0 to 5 it is 250 micron uh, when you when you will go to the uh, when you will go for actual machining that time you can make it 1 micron so you will get the better finish so uh, i'm just making it for example so I am just giving a 250 micron of stay, uh, total tolerance. Okay, that's good. We will say okay. 
so as you can see uh, in a few seconds uh, raster program is generated so you can see how it is looking like i will activate the backlot and then i will show you that how it will work so you can see it will work like this so it is a 0 degree of pull path so you can make it a 45 degree or 90 degree or whatever you need you can make it change okay so it's done and also we have done all this thing also coalescent and all And one more thing I, I would like to show you, uh, there is curvature option, right? So you can click here. So it will show you the minimum radius in this model. So as you can see, uh, now it is showing, this is 2 mm. And these are the higher radius. So just leave it. You can, ch you can check the minimum radius in the model. That's also useful. So, okay, done. We have done the 3D programming. And this is awesome.